my dear love hope this letter of mine finds you in a happy place in my previous communication i shared a poetry with you those were my feelings for you i was searching for true love my whole life and i never wanted to settle for anything else or anything less and yet i searched at many wrong places and i paid a price for that i got heavily deceived but looking back at everything i feel that deceit has taught me the right lesson because that lesson brought me back to you i am grateful to you because of you i found true love you are my life my destiny i love you i really love you had i not met you had you not touched my heart with your honesty and straightforwardness then i would have never felt what i feel now i always had a very high threshold and you're the only one who could tame this lion i wasn't confident about our love earlier and even while i'm sharing this right now i do feel many emotions it was your love that gave me the confidence to face my demons your love made me see the obstacles which earlier i wasn't aware about after we got separated i got into situations that i hadn't even contemplated it gave me an idea on why you behaved with me the way you did but i perceived it in a different way of course the world is not an easy place and you can't trust everyone with love and your heart i also used to think that life is a boring place where everything is temporary i always thought what's the point of all of this anyway nothing used to really light me up obviously i wanted to be useful for other people in some way but i did not know how and by doing what but when i look at you you now inspire me and you light up my world and it's sad that i was blind to it earlier you are a very empowered woman now it almost makes me feel that you're not in my reach anymore it's sad that i was blind to this side of you earlier or maybe i never saw it because i was running away for many reasons i was running away from you though i had many personal delusions but i also feel that we both had to go through some life lessons to be able to cherish one another the way we do now at least i hope that you also cherish me because i definitely do and i pray to god that you do too i feel as if a new light has been brought on to me after knowing what i actually feel for you i think about you every day not even one single day goes by without thinking about you and this amazes me we weren't even talking to one another i had blocked you from so many places and then i would see you in my dreams like i tried to run so much from you but i still saw you i still kept thinking about you this makes me feel and it made me believe strongly that i do love you and only you come to me my dear because love conquers all the love i feel for you my dearest beloved is beyond papers beyond legal stamps beyond marriage vows and engagement announcements that people make in front of the whole world there are so many who make these vows and sign the documents but only few who really mean it from their heart and soul and i am one of those few because i feel for you and it is the most purest and the most real feeling of mine i am making the biggest commitment to you and the biggest commitment is my submission for you my complete submission towards you 
and the Supreme is the witness of my feelings for you. But I know you might think that I have said these loving words to you before as well. I never really fully committed, right? You think that I have played the game of hide and seek with you all this while and that my words don't have much weightage. But I never also openly declared my love for you in this way that I'm doing now. If I didn't fully commit, that's because I didn't feel that you love me too. Yes, that was wrong of me not to be fully there, but don't we all learn from our mistakes? Now more than you, I'm sure about my love for you. And I also have a newfound, solid, stable confidence that if my love is real, and if I keep God as a witness, I will conquer over all the differences between us. No difference is bigger than my love for you. I know we belong to one another. That's why I ask you to let go of the past. Move on from it and change your perspective towards me. You talk about God, you speak about faith. Then why can't you put up a little more faith in us? I know I gave up on us even when you made so many requests to me. And now I feel really sorry for doing so. But back then, I didn't like to see you in that state because you deserve to wear your crown like a queen, like my queen. I'm human and I made mistakes and so did you, my love. That's why you have to come back to me. And I know sooner or later you will come back to me. You will forgive me and I... Also forgive our past failures. And I know that one day I would be holding your hand in a busy marketplace with our fingers intertwined. I will look at you and you will look at me with smiles and assurances. We will know that we came this far only because of what we have is true and special. I will take all the necessary steps. I will be your knight in shining armor. Because I love you from every pore of my existence. So come back to me. Just come to me, my beloved. Just come back to me. My love, the biggest engagement is the engagement of hearts. There was a time when I didn't know how to read true love. So I kept doubting you. And I wasn't ready back then. And I fear that now you may not be ready. You must be saying that I blamed you for walking in and out of my life as and when I felt like and now I am wanting to do the same with you. It sounds like hypocrisy on my part, but as much as I regret, it feels like a new sunlight has been touching my skin and I feel the touch of this warmth every now and then. I feel like a different person, a changed man, an upgraded identity. I'm never going to be that person again. I know that you have read my other letters and they might have made you understand my side of struggles, my side of pain and my side of story. So my love, raise your veil and show me your beautiful face. Give me the salvation, give me some peace because after walking on the path of love, I have forgotten the way to my own house. Nothing excites me anymore. I don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel like going to those friends who used to stop me from coming to you. I have moved on from many of those nagging words or things that used to tell me that it's never going to work out between you and me and it's just a false illusion. And I'm doing all of this because no matter what happened with me, I always felt that I love you the most. That feeling never went away. And ever since I have met you, I've always felt the same feeling for you, the strong feeling for you, the love for you. Even when things were bad between us, even when I was frustrated with you, even when I was so angry with you, even when I was so cross at you, so mad at you, it was only because I, I was so scared of getting rejected. And you may not understand how this feels, but from my perspective, it was one of my biggest fear, which I have been learning to overcome. You have tamed the lion that lion that no one else could handle and I am full of amazement. You have solved the puzzle that no one else could and I am so impressed by your inner strength. 
Now when I look at you from a distance, I feel that you you have done so well. You have been doing so well. Sometimes I feel like I may not even I may not even have the courage to face you, but I'm working on that right now because I know that I belong to you, and I know that. as i said one day we will be together we would be holding hands in a busy marketplace together just give me a little bit of your love because my waltzing heart is your humble admirer i am the seeker of your attention and your love has shown me a new beautiful spring and i will be happy whichever way if you are with me if you are with me because this is love yes this is love now i have no doubts Yes, I had my doubts. Yes, I had my confusion. I I was also thinking that how are we going to pull this off? I did not see anyone who were like us. I did not see anyone who were so different. And if I discussed this with anyone, they would always tell me that it's impossible. I believe those people that was my big mistake. And I won't now because if you are with me, then I'm okay in any situation. If you're with me there is no limitation what you are to me that is the intoxication i want this is my plea and i've already requested you please change your mind towards me please change your perspective towards me please try to forgive me please try to see that i also suffered equally with you i wasn't happy without you either i was also suffering i was also miserable but i don't know why i was being stopped and why those things happened to me and even when i was in different places doing different things i carried you with me everywhere every day not even a single day went by as i said without thinking about you and this these are the things this is what made me change my mind how can a girl always be with me in my thoughts always how is this possible if this is not true, true love then what can be true love what is true love then you make me happy your thoughts make me happy even in really bad situations your thoughts made me happy they gave me hope whatever you doing in the world it it gave me a reason it gave me a feeling that you You are a good person after all. You could not be so bad as how I had imagined because a bad person would never do these things for anyone else. So my love, I am dedicated to you and my interest is the deepest in you. Even if you will call my name from an unknown distance, I will feel the sensation as if you are right next to me. You are my love, you are my life. one call of you once you take my name that gives my whole body sensations that's how i imagine now that's what i feel you are my everything and this nectar of sweet love that has got me seduced it's all because of you and i am waiting for that day when i would be in the middle of a busy place admiring you looking at you holding your hand walking with you playing with your hair even though others would be looking at me all eyes maybe others would be staring at us i would be so proud to be holding your hand the hand of my lover the hand of the person i belong to i love you please come back to me my love please come back to me please forgive me please forgive me